Happy birthday, as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Coming in solution. Get out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. Today I'll be reviewing the GE 7 2001 FM AM Thin Line Portable Radio. I purchased this radio for $22 shipped from eBay. It caught my eye, the thin lines, and I've been looking at them here and there, and mostly they're beat up. Uh, this one came in halfway decent with the original box. Let's take a look. Here's the box GE 2001 7. I see what they're doing there, trying to do the Space Odyssey thing. There's a picture of the radio. FM AM thin line portable. Side of the radio. We bring good things to life. Sweet. Same you know, made in Hong Kong. The back has your warranty information. 90 days. Alright, let's open the box up. And inside the box, the manual's glued in. Using care. How to use how to use your earphone, caution care, and service. Safe for future reference, don't throw this away. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Okay, so here it looks like it has a shelf talker. It kind of talks about the radio. It says slide rule radio dial for ease of tuning. GE FM AM IC integrated circuit. Two antennas. Whip for FM, ferret rod for AM. Operates on three AAA batteries not included. There you go. So I'd like to be sitting there on the shelf. Cool. And here's the radio it's sitting in this like plastic type tray. And I'm just gonna kinda let it fall out there. There we go. That's about it. Nothing else nothing else in the box. So we'll just toss that aside. Here's the radio. Let's go over dimensions real quick. We have two and five eighths inches wide, five inches high and a depth of three quarters of an inch. So that must be the, the thin line because back in the day they had the monster line. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. Um, looking at the left side, you'll see it has the convenient carry th wrist strap because they didn't call it anything else, but you know, one of their models, they called it something different. <laughs> it's got this rib design and it's got the silver front. I really like this silver black color scheme, pretty neat. Bottom uneventful. Looks like a way to open it up. Uh, let's see, right side we got a tuning wheel. This tuning wheel is awesome. You can see how it moves the the solid orange marker. And then we have the volume on off. Rib design carries over. Top of the radio, or that carried over rib design. Here's our antenna, extends out to 12 inches. The front of the radio, we have some chrome here. It looks like it's a little scratched up, but not too bad. Um, our FM scale 88 to 108 megahertz. AM scale is 550 to 1600. Integrated circuit. Here we have a band select switch. FM and AM. And then we have a speaker there. And it measures about an inch and a half. It's right there. And then in the bottom, general electric. So yeah, sweet looking radio for the money. And it sounds really good. So I'm not sure when this was made. I did a little searching and just could not find it. Oh yeah, we did the back. And uh, yeah, I couldn't find any information on it. Nothing. Absolutely zero. I'm guessing it's um, early 80s. It's a guess out of mine, or mid 80s, early 80s. Uh, so here we go. We got uh, the, the model number here embossed. Uh, 2001A. And then uh, behind here is three AAA batteries. I'm not going to open that. That battery door is a pain. And an earphone jack. It's one of those mini 25 millimeter jobbers. Real small. And you can see it's a vented case. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on. We're going to start in the FM today, a little backwards, but that's what I'm going to do it. Let's see if we get any music stations. And hear what it sounds like. We'll find something here, hopefully. Notorious, notoriously hard area to get FM 
in this area. Wow, I gotta like aim it down. <laughs> Interesting. This FM is not impressing me, but I had it going earlier today and it was rocking. Just gonna have that right spot. Goodbye to that poof. Repel humidity and tame those flyaways. One drop, frizz stops. With John Frieda Frizzy. Hey, I'm a classical. <laughs> I kind of like bringing it really high. It's like, put it above my head and it works. Okay, wow, the two, uh, what do you call it, uh, so those two last stations came in clear. <laughs> so let's go ahead and hope the AM is better. So we're going to go ahead and go to the AM and go back to the bottom. Let's see if we can find any good stations on the AM tonight. This little thin line can do. This is probably 760 Detroit. This thing is not really selective. It's only getting my strong stations.
investment in America's crumbling roads and bridges. Down as staff secretary amid allegations of domestic abuse. A new development in the saga of the Harvey Weinstein case. New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman has filed a civil rights lawsuit against the Weinstein Company and its owners, trying to stop the sale of the company, which is going for $500 million. Schneiderman says the suit is a result of an ongoing four-month investigation, which found the company execs failed to protect their employees despite widespread knowledge of Harvey Weinstein's persistent misconduct. Like he claimed in his own legal analyst, News. She says Schneiderman is hoping to prevent a kind of culture from continuing in the future. An HR department of any new Weinstein company. I'm not really sure if this is 880. I'd be shocked, but it could be. Pretty sensitive, but just not finding the stations on it. at 1610 out of Toronto. Uh, this spot is right here, 1610. Right here. So I can hear my road hazard a sixteen twenty next to it. Right there buried, I can barely hear it.
a reason when a guy you know gets traded four times in, in four years. ESPN Radio. Is there a reason in the West that John Cannon joined this coverage of Warriors? Okay. Wow, that was uh, pretty uneventful. <laughs> um, this is GE Thin Line. Let's go over final thoughts real quick. Um, yeah, so this radio is 22 bucks. It seems like a lot of money for something that doesn't perform. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a bit of money. Do I regret spending 22 bucks? Nope. This thing's still cool looking. I mean, look at it. I mean, do any of you guys have one of these? I mean, it's pretty awesome. Thin line, it looked good in the collection. Stands. Um, it it's really tall. That's the kind of cool factor, and uh, I just like the color scheme. And an original box always helps. Um, so yeah, that's neat for the collection. So yeah, twenty two bucks. It's good. I mean, the FM in different locations it sounds really good when I get the FM stations coming in. It just you saw me have to aim it all over the place uh, here at this location, but in a different location it'll work better. Uh, the AM it was really performing on the local stations, of course. I was getting none of the, you know, I didn't get Zoomer, I didn't get 860, I didn't get, um, well, I think I might have got 1120 there, uh, KMOX, but, you know, those are like my normal, any any radio can get type of stations. Um, 1610 out of Toronto was good, I'm glad I heard that, but it was faint, not really enjoyable. Uh, I couldn't hear WSN on, uh, WSM, excuse me, on Nashville 650, unfortunately, either. So this is not a DX radio. This is just kind of like your local broadcast, stick in your shirt pocket radio. And uh, yeah, if you see one on eBay um, and it's in good shape like this with the box, yeah, twenty bucks is about right. Um, anything more, I don't know. It better be like mint, like looking new, no scratches, nothing uh, to spend anything more on it because it's it's not really a performer for like DXing or anything like that. It's more just like a collectible, something to put on the shelf, something to talk about, something different. Um, so that's why I bought it, and it, it's still enjoyable radio. Uh, so I hope you like this video. Getting back into the, some retro radios, some older school radios. Um, so yeah, hit the like button if you like this video, and if you want to see more, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, also subscribe, get more videos. I do one every night. You know, I say this over and over, but you know, some people miss this part. Hit the little alert bell. I found out that uh, you know, if you don't hit that alert bell, you might miss my videos. So make sure to hit that little bell, and you'll know right away. You know, it's not, I don't spam you. It's just one video a night, and uh, we'll have some fun. So I definitely have some more videos coming up, uh, and we can kind of you know go over some. I got a little sneak peek. I I've been uh, getting uh, GE radios pretty much. I don't know why all of a sudden, and I got some Radio Shack radios coming in. And, uh, yeah, those will be fun to review. So, well, I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.